Hey all, I was chatting with someone at the gym this morning who has had knee arthritis for quite some time and kind of discussing various surgical options, um, non-surgical options, but mostly surgical options because it does, sometimes arthritis does get to the point where the pain is just all the time and you feel like you've tried everything under the sun and it just isn't going away. And so your orthopedic doctor recommends surgery. So just wanted to chat about the different types of surgery, what I've seen, because I've seen a lot of people after like knee replacements, knee surgeries, and a lots of different, basically lots of different knee surgeries. Um, and just wanted to chat about what is true with the research and what I've seen clinically. And they do actually line up pretty well. So the first option a lot of docs will discuss is arthroscopic surgery, which basically means they're just taking a little portal, the surgery is done via a little video camera, they're going in there and they're cleaning up the joints. And per the research, um, you can do a completely sham arthroscopic surgery, so they can cut the knee open, um, do all the incisions and everything and not clean anything up, and those outcomes are completely equal to actually cleaning stuff up. And clinically, what I've seen with arthroscopic surgeries is they really don't do squat. I have yet to see someone who has an arthroscopic surgery whose symptoms are better in the long term. Maybe they get better for a month or two, but they usually come back. And a lot of the times, they don't even get better for a month or two, and the offloading that occurs after the surgery to allow the knee to heal usually facilitates a worsening of the degenerative changes in the other areas of the knee because the knee does have more than one joint there's the patella femoral joint which is the kneecap on your femur or your thigh bone and the lower shin bone on the femur which is called the tibiofemoral joint so if arthroscopically stuff is done at one of those joints usually then the other one the degenerative change changes accelerate and I've seen typically most people be worse off after an arthroscopic surgery the other option a lot of orthopedic doctors will discuss is a meniscectomy, which is basically cutting up the meniscus. Now, if you're in your if you're a little bit older, so like 40 or above, 50 maybe, um, and you have a meniscus tear, odds are it didn't happen with a specific mechanism. It was more of a degenerative tear where it gradually tore and tore a little bit more over time. Maybe there was a specific incidence where you felt it go a little bit more, but typically it's a degenerative tear and surgery doesn't, the research shows that surgery and physical therapy are pretty much equivalent for that type of outcome. So just because you so if you have a degenerative tear or you have a meniscus tear and you're over 50, odds are a meniscectomy doesn't typically solve the problems. And the meniscectomies I've seen, again, similar to the arthroscopic surgeries, the deconditioning that occurs at that joint to allow it to heal after surgery typically makes the person worse off and not better off. I haven't, I have yet to see a, a successful meniscectomy um, with a person who um, is over 50. It just, I... I haven't seen it be successful yet. Doesn't mean it can't be, um, but I haven't seen it to be successful in the literature. Doesn't say it is either. It says it's about equivalent. Um, and then stem cells is the other option we discussed. And that I actually have seen be successful, um, but it's usually only successful at a certain point in the degenerative processes. So if you catch it early or in the middle of those processes, I've seen knees respond very well to stem cell in injections. Uh, if you catch it too late, usually it doesn't do a whole lot. Maybe it feels better for a little bit, um, but it's not long lasting and they are very, very expensive. We're talking like $6,000 expensive. Usually for one joint, that was the running price as of about a couple months ago when I last talked to someone who had it done. They paid $6,000 for one knee and they got relief for about two weeks and they weren't too happy with that. Um, but it can be various. I have seen it be successful with people if you catch it at the right time in the disease prog in the progression. Um, and then the last is a total joint replacement and I have seen these be very successful. I am, I am very much usually in favor of not doing surgery unless it's 100% necessary, but a total joint replacement is something that I've seen when it is necessary. I've seen the outcomes be very, very good as long as proper rehab is followed and the stages of healing are respected and you allow the need to heal. A total joint replacement doesn't mean you can't run, it doesn't mean you can't bike, it doesn't mean you can't do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, there's lots of people who continue to run, bike, jump, um, work out, crossfit, weightlift afterwards, and they have, um, and they're fine. They're, the pain is usually much, much better. There is nothing known right now really on the long-term effect of doing that and how fast that'll wear on the joint replacement and how long it'll last for, um, but people are doing it quite successfully for quite a long time and they're not having problems. Um, 
So, yeah, so those are the four options um, usually that orthopedic doctors will discuss when you have knee arthritis, arthroscopy, meniscectomy, or um, stem cells. Usually orthopedic doctors don't discuss those because stem cells not covered by insurance. Um, so that's usually something people find on their own research. And then a total joint replacement. So if you have knee arthritis and you're, you have questions and you're wondering, what should I do? What, what, what are my options? What does this look like? Feel free, reach out. Love to chat. Always willing to answer questions. And have a great Saturday, everyone.